All right. Thank you, Photographers Ignite and WPPI and all the sponsors for having me be here. Let's get started. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys about booking your future clients on the day of the wedding that you're shooting. That sounds kind of weird, right? But what I want to do is I want to share some unconventional tips and some subtle things that I do on the wedding day to book future brides. So let's go to the next slide. And I, okay, there you go. Okay, let's be friends. So one of the first thing I do when a client books me is uh, I try to find them on Facebook. That usually happens about six to eight months before the wedding starts. So to start the relationship going, I find them on Facebook right away because what I'm going to do later on on the day of the wedding is going to make a big difference through this. Hashtag advertising. If you guys all do Instagram, uh, you, know, you guys all know about the hashtag. One of the things I can't stand during a wedding day is when everyone's like iPhoning throughout the whole day. But rather than fighting them, what I do is I create an opportunity for myself where I tell the bride and the groom to please use hashtags because then uh, for their wedding because when they do, I get to um, use the same hashtag and upload my photo so that everyone else can see it. I like to also attend the rehearsal even if they don't hire me to shoot it because I get to meet all the family members and when I do, I get to know who the important players are. Uh, and when it comes to that on the wedding day, it, uh, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, dress to impress. Uh, you're only as good as you look, and people will judge you based on how you look, so you gotta dress well. Not only does it validate your client's investment, it valid, um, makes you feel good, and your client, the guests there will look at you and will think different about you as well. What's in your name? Uh, Dale Carnegie said that the most sweetest name to any person is their own name. So by calling everybody's name, not just the bride and the groom, but the whole wedding party, you're gonna get their attention, and they're gonna think it, uh, look up to you a little bit more. Chimping on your camera is perfectly, perfectly okay, even though they tell you not to do it. For me, I like to do it and actually show the bridal party the photos I've taken while I'm uh, taking photos of the bride and the groom because um, the bride and groom will judge how good a photograph it is based on what their friends will say. Make them laugh. When you're doing a photo shoot, you know, just get them to laugh. Say a few jokes, it'll get them, you know, get them to smile. And if you're not funny, that's okay. Just smile the whole day and they'll love you for that. And for guys, it's a little bit different because you want to make them quick, the photo shoot as quick as possible and make it fun. Because the quicker you do it, the, the more they'll love you because they're just going to want to have a good time with their groom friends. Whew. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was going to be so nervous. Sorry, guys. And the ceremony. This is a time for you to shine because everyone else is standing or sitting down watching the ceremony and you're the only one that's allowed to run around. So chances are a lot of people are staring at you. So make sure you're doing a great job. Smile at the guests when you can and make eye contact with them and make sure you capture all the moments. Family photo shoot. I know as photographers, we all hate doing this, but this is the most important time for you to shine as well because the, all the family members will judge how good of a photographer you are by how well you do here. So take these uh, moments, opportunities to connect with your clients and the family members as well. Be nice at a wedding. I got this job in Aruba just because I had a, a guest at a wedding that was following me all day long taking pictures next to me. I should have brushed them up, but instead I was being nice to him. At the end of the wedding, he came up to me and asked me to photograph this wedding in Aruba. Whew. Okay. All uh, right, texting and shooting, it can wait. I cannot stand it when vendors are, you know, like checking their scores or checking their email during the day. It just makes you look bad because it makes it seem like you don't care about the wedding. So what you want to do is, you know, take a few photos that you're going to use for Instagram or Twitter or later on, but, you know, save it and put your phone away. Keep your cards in your bag. You think that you want to have cards with you so you can pass it out to potential customers, but there are other ways that people can find you. If they're really interested, they're going to go up to their bride and groom, and I'd rather have them do that because your bride and groom will say, already say great things about you, then that already validates their decision. I always offer a free photo, and I learned this from my friend uh, Chris Becker. Uh, I always you know, offer any client that I meet or any potential people that I meet or guests at a wedding that I'll take a picture for them, and. Oh boy, okay. And basically, yeah, that's the way I connect with them. Reception is a great time for me to connect with uh, potential clients as well. When I look at this photo, I don't see a photo of a bunch of drunks, but I see a photo of people with you know, potential opportunities. So I always stick around at the end of the reception for me to connect with people. Take good care of your vendors throughout the day. Be nice to them, you know, work with them, and then promise them that you're going to you know, give them great images that they can use uh, for their wedding day. They'll love you for that, and they'll refer you more jobs in return. Whew, gosh. <laughs> All right, sneak peek. When I go home at the end of the wedding, I always upload at least five photos that includes bride and groom and the wedding party, and I just tag the bride and groom. And I'm, as I told you guys earlier, I'm friends with them already on Facebook, so um, when I post those photos, all their guests are going to see those uh, images on their Facebook feed, which will lead to um, my site, and it's a free viral marketing that you guys can use. Always follow up with your clients. Just because your wedding day is over it does not mean that 
um, you know, your, your job is done. You got to stay connected with them, you know, provide them with what they need, and they'll, you know, return the favor and re uh, refer you other jobs. So anyways, thank you so much, and this was more nervous, uh, <laughs> nerve-wracking than I thought, so all right.